Hey everyone, so I'm, I'm back and finally this time with some pretty good news. So I visited the, the doctors that are taking care of me and they checked everything. So this is probably going to be the last health update because they told me this is going to be like, like a life process. Afterwards, I'm going to have to be doing like yearly checkups and tests just to make sure I'm okay. But for now, I'm, I'm taking medicine the the disease i have the dermatomyositis is pretty rare and doesn't have a cure so the way that they treat it is with anti-cancer medicine so like the medicine i'm taking right now is for cancer but i'm using it to control my symptoms which it still hasn't worked by the way because apparently that medicine takes months <laughs> so i'm still like feeling a little sick but i, I am doing a lot better and i was able to take off my oxygen but my lungs the only thing is that i did a, a test on, on my lungs and it said that my lungs are actually like fine their functionality i am breathing in well and out well but the problem is that they have a lot of inflammation and the muscles that control it are weak so that's why i get tired real easily that's why I still have to be using like a, a wheelchair. Now the dermatomyositis, which is affecting like my skin and my bones. It makes my skin very fragile. If I if I just go like this with my nail, I'm going to cut myself and it's not going to go away. And my, my feet and hands are full of bruises and they hurt. <laughs> but they told me that in like three to four months, that's going to go away. The problem is the lung specialist told me that my lungs are going to take longer to heal and that she can't tell me you know how i'm gonna be in a few months she said that when it comes to lung problems every case is different with every person and everyone heals differently so because i asked like oh wait, am i gonna be able to like run in the future when my lungs are fine and she told me that she can't really say a hundred percent because with every person, you know, something different happens, apparently. So yeah, for now, I have to be doing lung exercises, which is like a little machine where you breathe in and out, and it has different levels of strength. So I have to do that for like a few months, and then afterwards, we'll see how my lungs are doing. But in order to do cardio, like walking and things like that, the doctor told me to wait until my lungs were, were a lot better. That right now, I shouldn't try any cardio just to use the lung exerciser and in the future we'll see what i can do so yeah for now i'm taking a lot of medicine and in the future i they told me i only have to take like one pill a day for the rest of my life just to make sure the symptoms don't come back and cause a lot of trouble it can come back they call it like a, a flare when you start getting sick again and all the symptoms appear so it is possible that I could get a flare in the future. Now, there is an injection that I actually got last month that supposedly stops the flares from the disease, but the effects only last like nine months and it's a process to get the injection, all right? I, I have to travel to a hospital that has it and then they have to give me half the dose, which takes a whole day because they give me pre-medication and and then afterwards, I have to stay to make sure nothing bad happens with my body. And then in two weeks, I have to do the same thing. And, and then that injection destroys the body's B cells. I don't know what they do, but apparently they destroy all your B cells. And it takes like two months to regenerate them again. So yeah, if I don't want a flare to come back, I have to be doing that injection every year. But you know, most people, they don't do it every year. <laughs> So I could just do it every like few years and hope that I don't get a flare during that time. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. So the only problem is I still can't work and I won't be able to work for a while. So, well, first of all, you know, you can stop sending donations. It, it's fine now. I'm not seeing as many doctors now, so it's a lot cheaper. And I, I already have a plan to make a little bit of money. You know, I, I hope the government accepts my disability and i can be getting a little bit of money from that 
and then also i'm gonna buy like passive income things like gumball machines <laughs> i'm gonna save up for a couple gumball machines place them that's a little bit of money right there also my my sister has a little a little restaurant with healthy food so i'm i told her i was gonna resell healthy chips so that's a little bit of money right there and i'm gonna start making videos again so with with that i i should be good for now so yeah that's the plan you know thankfully i am doing a lot better and it it seems like starting today my my body's gonna start healing and feel a lot better very fast and i just want to thank everyone who was here for the ride i'm sorry if i worried you a lot but it's it's because you know the for a while no one knew what i even had it it took six months to get a diagnosis i it was a whole journey and i want to thank everyone who sent their prayers who commented or if you didn't comment if you just watched the videos and kept up to date to everyone who donated they it really did help like a lot a lot a lot of the medicines a lot of the doctors i saw and all that i was only able to just to do thanks to the donations but yeah, it means a lot but anyways though this is the the last update like i said from here on out i'm just gonna be doing checkups every once in a while i'm gonna be doing stuff like the lung exerciser a little bit of physical therapy and you know i'm gonna just slowly get better get back to normal but that, that was the update thanks everyone and i'll see you soon i'm gonna start recording videos again tomorrow <laughs>